Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your mid-month reading for December. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Now remember this is not a private reading. It's for hundreds and thousands of people so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up for you. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. If you know me, I like to have the cards just about perfect. I'm taking a week off in January uh, to, to do up my house because I've been working so much. I don't know why I told you that. <laughs> I guess I'm excited. All right. So the basis of your reading is the King of Pentacles. So this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You may be dealing with that sign. Or this could be you looking for stability, looking for security, really wanting that, you know, wanting the security, wanting the stability, wanting the, the things to be in control, you know, you don't want any chaos, you're just looking to, for things to um, be, you know, grounded, all right, you're just, you want peace, you want comfort, okay. It feels like it's you're ready for things to just be comfortable again. Um, you know, I think there's been some challenges. There has. And I think that you guys are taking action. I see that you're not just sitting back and waiting for things to happen. It's like you're taking action. Um, the time is now. Okay? It's like, you know, you guys are going ahead. You're moving forward. There's no stalling going on you know I have to take action in regards to this situation that's what I hear and see um, it feels like there's been some manipulation absolutely I don't know if it's you or somebody else but it feels like there's been some manipulation some controlling issues addictions could be getting in the way um, somebody has been maybe there's been some lies you know there could have been a three-way situation um, somebody could have had a new sexual partner could have been you could have been the person you're dealing with um, I, it looks like one door is closing or it's very close to closing. It didn't lead to your wish fulfillment, even though you, you, you were hoping it had. It looked like there was a commitment, you know, there was a um, union between you and another person. And it looks like it could be falling apart, okay? That union could be falling apart, but it's meant to be because I see that there's, there was a lesson to be learned here. We do have a lot of eights, okay? A lot of them, all four of them. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and Eight of Swords, okay? Big deal. When you see eight, 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 I mean four eights, that's even better than three. Eights are uh, balances needed. Um, it's time to think about your present moments. When you see eight, 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 it's time to live in the present. The time is now when you see three, eight. The time is now, okay? It's also about, it's a, it's a message that says, go ahead. When you see all these eights, go ahead. Whatever you're thinking, don't deny it. Don't doubt it. And I see that you have these doubts. Should I go? Should I go ahead? Should I really do this? The answer is yes. With these eights, the answer is yes. Do it. Whatever you're thinking about doing, this is a clear yes. Do it. Okay? And the thing is, is the reason you need to have to, you need to do it is because the ultimate outcome is happiness by summertime. Alignment, alignment, bliss enjoyment happiness by summertime should you take action right now okay i with this world card here there was a lesson to be learned you know and i think that you've learned it whatever it is and it has to do with freeing yourself from being trapped in a a situation that was less than empowering it looks like you were in a tra in a some kind of uh relationship with somebody that uh, you just, if made you feel trapped, like you couldn't be yourself, like 
you weren't moving forward. There was no growth. Like you were in prison, you know, like what the hell? Somebody wasn't putting in the effort and, you know, it's like I can't. No, I'm looking for somebody a little bit more responsible than you. Thank you very much. A little bit more dependable. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for dependable. You're looking for responsible. You're looking for reliable. And I think that's why things didn't work out or, or aren't working out is because you hadn't been receiving that. This person wasn't putting in a whole lot of effort. Okay. I feel like... You know, it's time for a change, and that's why this, this world card is here, is because you have a major new beginning right ahead of you. It's like you've learned something big. That to step outside of your comfort zone, okay? It looks like many of you are stepping outside of your comfort zone um, and, ha and looking for more excitement in your life. It's like wherever you were, whoever you were with, there was no excitement left. I mean, there wasn't. It wasn't leading to wish fulfillment, even though you had... You had hoped that it would and you gave it your best shot but you know it wasn't leading to wish fulfillment so now here we have this change being offered to you should you take action right now realize how far you've come don't quit keep going go keep going okay really you really think about your future make plans for the future right now okay the time is now to to put the wheels in mo motion for the summer, you know, because I think that you need to take actions right now so that by summertime you can be on the top of your game and shining again. So I do see by summertime you guys will be <clears throat> feeling more secure, stable, grounded, um, and happy. I just feel like you, you, you just have to take that next step. The go ahead. Remember that go ahead I was just talking? Do it. Whatever your intuition is telling you to do, the answer is yes. Do it. There's been, things have been a little chaotic. They've been disorganized. It's like there's a third-party situation here for somebody. I don't know who. Probably not everybody. But there was no more growth in the relationship. But, you know, it's hard to let go. But I think you're letting go. I really do. I think you're letting go. You know, it was false. There was a false imprisonment here. It was um, it was lies, deceit. It wasn't true. It wasn't meant to be anyway. We have the devil here. And... We have the world here. They're in the same lineup. So it tells me that that was part of the lesson that you needed to learn. There was some karma here you needed to learn. Okay? And it has to do with gaining life experience for one thing. There was something you needed to learn from this. You know, to per you've learned how to um, persevere and to be resilient. And I think that you there was some kind of lesson. I'm not exactly sure what the lesson is. But it has to do with patience as well. Perhaps you need to be patient for the right one. And that's probably what it is. That is that is what it is. This isn't a codependent thing. I mean, it is. That's what I'm trying to tell you is you can't go right from one to the other. And it feels like that's what happened here. And that's where the lesson lies is that you have to have patience. You have to have patience. Don't just... Don't just pick any Tom, Dick, or Harry, okay? Pick the right one. Have patience. Where are your standards? Bring your standards up. I do see that, uh, you know, with that Two of Cups here, there is a an attraction. Perhaps you have an attraction to somebody new. You know, there could be even um, a reconciliation of some sort on the horizon. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Bella. Mm. Bow, bow. <laughs> oh, goodness. My cat is uh, scratching the wall. Because she knows she can get away with it at this very point in time. And maybe, you know, everything that happens for to, during a reading is for you. You know, so maybe you're clawing. Maybe you're like, ah, what am I going to do here? Let me out. Let me out. You know, everything that happens during a reading is for you. Go. <laughs> it is. This is the way it is with private readings, too. 
You know, everything that happens is for you, whether the phone rings, like interrupted, the camera dies, whatever the case is. So that cat was like, let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out. Okay, it feels like somebody feels like they've been stabbed in the back. They're looking for something new. They're looking for excitement. You know, maybe somebody from the past, maybe you're wishing, you know, that you had somebody back from your past, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could certainly be the case. But there's been some lies and deceit in the past. There has. This is lies and deceit. Perhaps some cheating. I'm not sure. You know, and now you're just scared. Oh, no. Oh, no. How can we rectify this? You know, it feels like... There's some fear. There's some fear as to this reconciliation that could come about. Will they accept me? I've made some mistakes. You know, I don't know if that's the case or not. Now, this isn't, this is, this, that could record, resonate with just one person that's watching this. Okay? Because this is not a private reading. I do see that many of you are looking to bring peace and harmony back to your life. You just want to get your life back on track. And it's time for you to make a choice. It's time to, to um, be excited again. Be excited about life. Be excited about living. Be excited about love. And you just have this fear of rejection. That's what I see. There's like a fear of rejection. But, you know, I think many of you are really thinking about somebody from your past and somebody from your past could come back to your life and I know that some people are going to write oh hell no I don't want somebody from my past then this reading isn't for you okay it could be a new partner as well because this can definitely signify a new partnership but I see a reconciliation here as well more prominently than a new relationship okay I just do you know, I feel like there's in the past, there has been some lies and deceit. And I think somebody wants to um, communicate about what happened in the past and work through it and, and just have closure regarding the situation. And they're just hoping to start over. That's what I see. So you could be dealing with a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, which would might be you. You could be de dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The person from your past or the new person that comes into your life could certainly be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any sign because I really don't like to do that because we all kind of have different aspects in our charts. But anyway, I see happiness by summertime. Should you take a stand and free yourself from this toxic situation you're in? I think that many of you are in a toxic situation where you're being beaten down by somebody mentally, verbally, whatever. And you're done, you can't, but you know, you're just dreaming about the past where somebody was so, so kind. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, I just wish I had that back. And I feel like, you know, it is absolutely, you're going through an awakening right now. It's like there's a wake up call here. I have to get my life back on track, so I'm going to take action. Many of you are starting a new chapter, a brand new one. All you have to do is step outside of your comfort zone for a little while, face the music, and then the bliss, the happiness, and the alignment will come back. I think many of you have learned some kind of lesson, and it was a big one. It has to do with following your heart and not jumping, having patience, waiting for the right one. Oh boy. The first card. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and soul. And you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Did you hear what I just said? It's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. 
Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. Try it. Just try it. From Archangel Michael, lean on God and the angels for support. And this is an angel card, by the way. Dear God and angels, I give you this toxic situation now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. So Gemini, this is what I have for you for December mid-month. It's time to step outside of your comfort zone. Do the right thing for you. And by summertime, you should be glowing again. Should you do the right thing right now? Because the time is now. Remember the eights. And if you want to know more, look up the look up that. 8888. Eight, 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 the meaning of 8888. Eight, eight, eight. Look it up. If you want to know more, because you got like four of them here. It's a very big deal. Okay. Um, so anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I will talk to you next time.